Hey y'all, I'm Alex. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Bob XL versus the Wavemaster XXL. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions over these last couple months on which one I like better, which one I prefer to use. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I use for the Bob and then what I use for the Wavemaster during my sessions and which one I actually use more. So let's go ahead and get the video started. First, let's talk about Bob. Obviously, this is a very realistic target to train on, very realistic target to strike on. Whether you do boxing, you do kickboxing, taekwondo, whatever type of style of martial arts you do, this is a very realistic target to hit because it has the face, you have the body, and then for MMA or if you practice low kicks, you can practice kind of a little bit lower kicks kind of on the leg. And it has a shoulder. So like if you're doing taekwondo, you have to make sure, and you're doing head kicks, you have to make sure you can clear the shoulder and hit the head as well. So I personally use Bob for my training sessions when I'm really wanting to practice doing like cut kicks, different type of sparring, really specific sparring type kicks because I can aim a little bit more on the body. Sometimes I'll put like a hogu on them as well so it'll feel a little bit more realistic to if I was hitting someone like doing training partners or just in sparring in general. So it's very realistic for me to work on kind of some sparring type kicks and then also Definitely for head kicks, it's very realistic because, like I said, you have to make sure you clear the shoulder. There's been plenty of times where I've practiced like my crescent kicks coming over, and if I don't get my leg up, my leg gets caught right here. So it's definitely realistic to that if someone was blocking or just in general, you have to kind of really get your leg up. And then really you have to aim as well, accuracy for headshots, because there's been a ton of times where I've just kicked completely over. So you got to make sure that you have really good accuracy when hitting this as well. So primarily when I use Bob, it's really just for when I'm wanting to work on sparring combinations. Like if I don't have a training partner to hold targets for me or to do like chest protector drills as well. This is definitely something that I use on my own when I'm wanting to kind of get the more realistic feel of practicing my head kicks, body kicks, and all different other kinds of combinations. Now let's talk about the Wave Master. Overall, I think this is a really good bag for anyone to use, whether you're a kid or you're an adult, it doesn't matter because you don't have to adjust this bag. The bag goes down pretty low and also goes up pretty high as well. So whether you're practicing low kicks, middle kicks, or head kicks, you can pretty much do anything on this bag as well. It's a nice big target to hit and it doesn't really hurt too much when you hit it. Versus like the Bob, if anyone's ever kicked Bob barefoot, it can kind of sting a little bit. So this one's definitely not like that one. It's a really good just overall bag. I personally use this mainly for cardio kicking. High repetition kicking is what I use this bag for. Whether I'm doing like sets of 50, sets of 100, sets of 200 kicks, just doing like repetitive like roundhouse kick type drills, this is the bag that I'm using for that. This is the one that I personally like to use because it's just a nice big target, doesn't really hurt, and I can just focus just on just getting my endurance up and kicking. I'm not really focusing too much on technically like where, like if I'm kicking like perfectly to the body or whether I'm kicking like really hard or anything like that. Whenever I'm doing my high repetition kicking drills, the main purpose of me doing that is just to get my endurance up. It's just a workout, pure workout, not really 100% working on my technique at the time. So this is really good for just an overall just cardio workout. You just want to get a bunch of kicks in. You can still punch this bag. It's really good for just the overall workout. Now real quick, we're going to go over a quick recap of the two bags. The Bob I personally use mainly for what I am practicing more sparring type kicking combinations. So if I'm working on stuff going to the open side, the closed side, going to the head, having to work on just clearing the shoulder, or maybe doing like some combinations where I hold my leg up and go body and then to the face, stuff like that is what I'm going to be training on the Bob for. Now, for the Wave Master, this is going to be for all of my high endurance kick training sessions where I'm doing really high reps on my kicks. I'm just doing like a few hundred roundhouse kicks. This is the bag for that. Overall, I would say I probably use the Wave Master more just because a lot of my sessions, just in general, are going to be really working on my endurance. That's what you kind of need to work on as an athlete. You kind of need to work on your endurance. So this is kind of the bag that I typically use more. Now, with that being said, I still practice a lot of my head kicks and technical kick training with my coach or my other training partner. So I still have someone that can hold targets for me to work on that as well. If you're someone who doesn't have anyone to help you hold targets for and you're just looking for a bag to just do all of your training by yourself, then the ball may be for you if you're needing to practice more sparring type kicks. 
So that's just kind of where it kind of comes into play for me personally. I have someone who can hold targets to kind of get what I get out of a ball. If I'm just purely just training on my own and I didn't have anyone to hold targets to me, I probably would use the ball more because I need to practice my head kicks and my more of my sparring kick combinations. So that's just kind of my two opinions on the bags. I think they're both really great. You can get a workout on both of them really well. I would just say if you're more of the sparring type athlete where you really need to work on just kind of hitting a more realistic target, especially working on your head kicks, I would definitely go with the bob. If you're someone who is just a martial artist in general and you want to just get a really good workout in, the Wave Master would definitely be the one for you. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like more, the Bob or the Wave Master. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later.